This is white versus the perk, lesson 4. e4, d6, d4, knight of 6, knight c3, g6, f4, bishop g7, knight of 3, c5, bishop b5 check, bishop d7, e5, knight g4, e6, f6, f takes e6. Novelties fall into two main categories. The vast majority pass unnoticed. After all, nearly every game has a novelty at some point, perhaps just appreciated by a few connoisseurs of the particular variation in question. The second category contains those select few that announce themselves with a loud bang. <clears throat> Qualification requirements are that they occur quite early on and force, at least temporarily, a reassessment of a major variation. If they also contain a beautiful tactical point, then the whole chess public tends to notice such moves. Um, so, uh, for example, here, variation of bishop takes b5, uh, We'll get to that, as it's definitely worth uh, delving into. F takes e6, knight g5. Bishop takes b5, knight takes b5. If white is, going, is playing for a win, then this is the standard way to do so. The key discovery uh, made here was that the supposedly devastating move of knight takes e6 can be met by bishop takes d4 as knight takes d8 bishop f2 check king d2 bishop e3 check, king e1 is a draw by perpetual, uh, rep, uh, by perpetual check. This was how the original game and many others since have ended. Unfortunately, for a variation which had such an exciting beginning, it now seems to have been hijacked by those looking for a quick and pretty, why do they bother, prearranged draw. Um, and there are various... Uh, so there's one other variation, but we're not going to get into it here, but I'll just mention it, of um, queen takes g4. So you'll have to look that up on your own. Knight takes b5. Queen a5 check. c3. Now, after bishop d2... Queen takes b5, knight takes e6, and it's worth mentioning that queen takes g4, queen takes b2 is also fine for black. So here, knight takes e6, black can play, here again, queen takes b2, and this is not so much... Uh, to take a pawn, but to tie the white queen down to defending the rook. The main point is that after rook b1, queen takes a2, knight takes g7 check, king f7, the knight is trapped on g7. The question is whether he can sacrifice it for a dangerous attack. In this particular example, it seems that after white castles, h5, Rook e1, king takes g7, rook takes e7 check, king f8, rook e b7, knight c6. In spite of his menacing looking rooks, white is in uh, no trouble. Uh, white is in trouble. So let's back up. here. 
and we play the move of c3. Queen takes b5, knight takes e6. Um, now, of course here, queen takes g4, c takes d4, knight takes e6, queen c4 transposes. So again, knight takes e6, queen c4. A remarkable move offering white an entire menu of uh, pieces to choose from. And let's look at them. Queen takes g4 is by far the best. Some alternatives, or an alternative would be knight takes c7 check, king d8, knight takes a8. It's not really an option as the knight is not going to make a miraculous escape from the corner and white will end up material down. Scratch that. So then let's try knight takes g7 check. King f7, queen g4 just transposes after c takes d4, and it can also transpose after king takes g7. So queen takes g4, c takes d4. Um, because the knight will not be returning from g7 alive, black has the time to destroy white's center. His chance is appearing to be no worse in this position. For example, let's say that black, let's say that white plays knight takes g7 check, king f7, and now neither f5 or a move like knight f5 queen uh, e6 check or h5 uh, none of those uh, seem to work for white and also we have here what about f5 bishop f6 f takes g6 rook g8 g7 Knight c6, knight c7 check, king d8, knight e6 check, king e8, knight c7 check, king d8, and knight e6 check. So this ended up in a draw, and it occurred uh, numerous times uh, in this type of game. Um, and we see from here that uh, a note listed here is that a white player grabbing the rook on a8 instead of taking a draw would be displaying suicidal tendencies.